starting at the age of five, I've always wanted this career. I always wanted to be this person. I always wanted this to be the main focus of my life. I was raised that way. My mama was that way. My grandma was that way. My great grandma was that way. And that is to be a homemaker and a stay at home mom. Now, I don't say this with any pride. I say this with thankfulness because this is what I've always wanted to be. This is what I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to have a career as a homemaker, a stay at home mom. There are many careers that women hold and men hold. But for me, the closest and the dearest to my heart is to be a career of a stay at home mom. And I'm very thankful that I was given that opportunity that I was able to do that. Now, that was something that I wanted to do. That was something that it was in my heart ever since I was a little girl. There are some women who don't want that career. You know, they, that's not what they want. And they were able to do different things outside of the home. But for me, that was my tradition and that was my heritage. That was the community. That just was the whole, my whole upbringing. I was raised to be a homemaker. I was taught and raised from little on up to be a homemaker. Well, what does that mean? Well, in the community that I was from, I was taught and raised that the man is the head of the home and the wife is the help me. So the man is the one who would go out into the workforce and bring in an income. And the wife was the one that would have a certain amount of money and that she would use that money wisely and frugally. The Mennonites are known to be frugal. And so most or many Mennonites, they are very frugal, the plain ones. And I was raised in that. We were very frugal. My mom is so much more frugal. She was so much more frugal than me. And she just instilled in me how to hang up wash properly. She instilled in me how to not waste food. She instilled in me how to be the keeper of the home. That is my career. And it is a career. So here is my legacy. My career left me with three children, two girls and a boy. Both my daughters are stay at home and my son works very hard at home and he does very well. He's extremely successful in what he does. And my daughters stay at home and they cook and they clean. My oldest daughter has two children and she is, teaches them and steals in them values. My children all grew up in a very respectful manner. My children grew up very respectful. They never caused any trouble, heartaches or issues in our lives. And my children are my closest friends, all three of them. I am very close to my children and to my husband. YouTube, there is a balance. And sometimes it's hard to keep that balance on how much do you share and how much do you keep private? I've always kept the lives of my children and my husband, I've always kept as much of that private as I possibly can because that involves them and that is their lives. And I do show you videos and clips of my children here and there, but generally I don't put the camera in their faces all the time when we get together. I don't have the camera saying, this is YouTube, you know, and showing little intimate detail of my children and my husband's life because that's their private life. I'm a public person. I've always been that way and they love my YouTube channel. But not all of my children are public like me. But my career has been a very rewarding one. And when I die, I want to be known for Teresa, the mom, the grandma, the sister, the aunt. You know, I want to be known for these things. Not necessarily known for the YouTuber who made videos about her daily life. To have a career that you always wanted and to live that career is something that is a blessing and I'm so thankful for it. And every day I think about it and think about how blessed I am. I don't know about the heartaches of not having a mother growing up. I don't know about the heartaches of not having a loving father growing up. I don't know the heartaches of divorce. I don't know any of those things. So in that sense, I am extremely sheltered, but I do know the heartache of loneliness. I do know the heartache of being put a lot on my shoulders at a young age, as far as being a mom and being a wife and the expectations of that. I was expected to do a lot and expected to 
be submissive and, and all of those things. I do know what that feels like. I do know what it feels like not to have a voice. I do know what that feels like to, to not be able to speak up and give my opinion and, and say what I want to do and do what I want to do growing up all of those years. And so I express them in my videos. We are made up by how we were formed and that my formative years really were age 15 to 40. Formative years are now. I mean, look what I learned in this last year. I'm thankful for YouTube. I'm thankful for the career that the Lord has allowed me to have. I'm thankful for my children and my grandchildren and my in-laws. I'm thankful for all of them. And I'm grateful for all of you.